E-paper alternatives have been on the rise for quite some time, and there's one company that has been pushing alternative technology to its limits, Ezai. Ezai is a company based in Hong Kong that just a year ago created the world's first naturally backlit monitor. Well, now they're at it again with another first. This is Radiant, the world's first portable TLCD monitor. If you want to know more about what TLCD is, click the video card up above, but as a summary, it stands for Transflective LCD, in which it allows backlight to pass through a two-way mirror, thus giving you all the benefits of reflective LCD with none of the drawbacks. Back. So today we're going to do some side-by-sides between the Radiant and ePaper. So on the right we have a Big Me Color Kaleido 3 ePaper unit and on the left we have the Radiant. This is an LCD panel with reflective properties and transflective properties. This is naturally just an e-paper device there's no backlight on or anything like that now we have this set up perfectly for the camera but there's something we should show you on this unit when we turn the backlight off you can see that as we turn the backlight off it becomes pretty unseeable and that's because this is the nature of the reflective technology if we then reflect this into some light it becomes far more visible. With the backlight off, it is using a significantly less amount of power than traditional LCD, but it requires light to work. If you don't have light on this, it's not going to work. You can just shadow it off and you can see that it's black behind my hand because you just simply can't take advantage of the reflective properties. E-paper is much the same way, except it is a little bit better when it comes to visibility at multiple angles. But then you deal with the slow refresh that is inherently a big problem with this, whereas on this unit, you don't have any of that. It's smooth. It's ready to go because you could play high res full frame rate games on this whereas e-paper there's a give and take you're gonna have to do speed modes which we'll show you in a second so for this we're gonna do some comparisons on backlights on and off and show you guys side by side Alternatively, if you turn the backlight on both of them, then you get as much as they can possibly, this is as good as they look. They can't look any brighter and more vivid than this because this is full light capacity on both units. You'll see over here as well, we have the ability to not only use this at night now, but we can use it in the day. The reason this is a lot better than RLCD is because with RLCD, you don't have that backlight capability, but this one can be used at any time of day, much like e-paper. Now that we get into videos, it becomes much more apparent as to the shortcomings of e-paper versus having something that utilizes e-paper-esque properties, but still retains the nature of LCD. So as you can see, What's happening right now? Well, this is a traditional computer monitor on the left, and it looks very familiar for what we all know. What's happening on the right is that the little particles that create the e-paper image are trying very drastically their best to move up and down respectively, all alongside trying to abide by the frame rate that it is demanded. So right now, we're looking at an incredibly low frame rate, and this is because ePaper is not meant for videos inherently. Now there is something you can do on a software level to fix this. Many manufacturers have employed things like extreme mode, or ultra fast, or whatever you want to call it, and it all stems from A2 mode, aka speed modes. Now you'll see that we can now view both videos side by side, and they're both viewable completely identical to each other. But there's still a glaring issue with this in that the e-ink video doesn't look as good. It's kind of flickering and it's blurry and that's because e-paper again utilizes those particles. So now we have to have a give and take. So what we have made up for in the overall refresh and speed, we are sacrificing image quality. And this is because e-paper doesn't refresh on its own like LCD does. LCD refreshes constantly, but e-paper does not and cannot. Therefore, you get images that look like this. 
Now to look at something a little bit less demanding, and that is ebooks. So with ebooks, you can see that you get this fluidity on the LCD monitor, but still with the e-paper monitor, you get a little bit of that choppiness. And this is because, again, that there is always a trade-off with everything. So you see a lot of staining in the background and everything, and that's because this isn't changing state like this is constantly. With here on the Radiant, it's going to look perfectly ready to go at any given time. There will be a little bit more glare on this unit because it is using a glass screen, but they actually have said that they are making changes to that. And that has been an underlying theme across all these videos is that this is glass, so you see a lot of reflection, whereas this isn't. Even though it is a glass screen, it is set up in a way where it's actually refracting the light and breaking it down so that you don't really have any glare on an e-paper device, whereas on the Radiant, you do have a little bit of glare, but the tremendous benefit is that you have this level of fluidity that e-paper just can't get to. Now, you'll say, well, I want my e-book to look exactly as good as the Radiant right now. So the way you would do this is, again, you go to the e-ink center. From here, you can choose the mode. We want to do the highest possible viewable mode, which is HD256. HD is HD mode, and 256 is image grayscaling. Now this is going to look really nice, but look what happened to the speed. Even so much as scrolling, we end up having this choppy, jagged experience, and that's because the e-paper device is trying to produce the best image possible and it's very demanding on the technology to get there as we want it to. I'm not saying stay in that state for any given amount of time. I'm saying change, 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 add inertia, add scrolling, but you just don't get that on the Radiant. You just get a flawless experience because this is LCD. Now because it is LCD, it does use a little bit more power when compared to e-paper, but overall it is the better of all worlds compared to other technologies like Garmin MIP, e-paper itself, monochrome LCD, etc. The reflective properties of our LCD is very beneficial to a lot of degrees. You get almost all of the visibility without any of the backlight on. You can see here if we block the light from one of the studio windows here, it's completely black in that you need light in order to reflect what is on the surface. You don't need the backlight, although the TLCD, the transflective properties, allows you to use the light all the same, not backing you into a corner with a device that you're unable to use at certain times a day, like other RLCD units and e-paper units without glow lights. Hope this has been insightful and eye-opening into the world of e-paper alternatives versus e-paper itself. Let us know if you have any questions.